your leaders refuse to go in this Bible to give you the solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more giving you lies. We're not African. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. We're all from the 12 tribes of Israel. And it's the Bible. And it's the Bible. And it's the So we're supposed to give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. What have we seen any change? Yeah. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhoods? Have you ever heard of uh, the Dolls Rolls Act? Never heard of that? Let me explain it to you quick. The Dolls Rolls Act was when Esau was paying each other to change their nationalities. So what they was doing was they was kicking out the Native American Indians, the Cherokee, that the uh, uh, the Blackfoot, the Seminoles. They was kicking them all out, stealing their land. And then what they was doing was they was paying each other to change their nationalities so that they could get the land. In the late 1800s, there was something called the Dolls Rolls, which was basically a census that made records of people's ethnic backgrounds in order to determine which Native American tribes would get certain land allotments and other benefits. After slavery, many black people were associated with some of these tribes by bloodline, through marriage, through adoption, and even servitude. And because they were associated with these tribes, many black people were entitled to some of these benefits. The government did not want blacks to get these benefits, so they created a separate freedmen's list specifically for black people. They also started to list any full-blooded Native American who had African features as black because they didn't want them getting those benefits either. At the same time, they allowed white citizens to come in and pay money under the table to be listed as part Native American. About 1890, 1895, 1896, when a lot of the whites found out the benefits that, that, these, that these blacks were gonna be entitled to, a lot of whites went to the Dawes Commission and say, look, uh, why don't you put my name on there? They said, but you're not an Indian. So that's what they said, well, I'll give you five dollars. So they, 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 the rule got around, the policy got around that, that for five dollars, that a white could put his name on the dolls rolls and be called himself an Indian and be entitled to all these benefits and all their children could be entitled to all these benefits forever. And so that's, that became known as what's called a five dollar Indian. And so if you go around now and check most of the Indians, the so-called Indians in America, about 90% of them are not even Indians. Those are just whites now who are passing as Indians. And but they're getting all the benefits. And they're not paying any taxes, getting free college education. They put up a little reservation on the land that they don't live on. They have another home off uh, and get all kind of benefits. Iron Eyes Cody was another famous Native American person. Um, he was in the media for years. Um, in the 1970s, they utilized him for this uh, pollution commercial. He was known as the Crying Indian. So he was a very well-known Native American in um, American culture. But the reality is, Iron Eyes Cody wasn't Native American at all. He was Sicilian. Both of his parents were from Sicily. So he didn't have one drop of Native American blood in him. He was another fake Indian. Look it up. It's called the Dolls Rolls Act. The reason, and, and, and a lot, and, and um, even during the time of slavery, you had, hold this on over here. Hold this on. That's why the brother was bringing out Jeremiah 50 and 33, letting us know that we're the same people. Watch this. Watch this, uh, Dwayne. You had so called African Americans that were actually Native Americans. But because they had the features of an African, they would label them African on their nationality papers. So what we got to go by today, Romans 8.16, this is what we go by today. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. The Spirit, you know what the Spirit is, Dwayne? Huh? The Word, the words of God. The words of God read, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit, our spirit, that we are the children of God. Now get uh, Baruch 2 and 1, because did this not happen? What's going on in South Dakota right now? What's going on in South Dakota, Dwayne? What's going on? Yeah, what, what else? 
What, what's going on on the reservation? Or do you live in the reservation? I did, and it's not the way. Why? Drugs, drinking, too much stuff. All right, brother. Just this man. I just got here today. You just got here today. So you, so you left the reservation because of the drugs, because of the suicide. You know, the, the, the suicide rate on a Native American reservation is higher than any other place in the United States of America. This your first time in Florida. Your first time in Florida, and the most I brought you before your brothers to teach you who you really are. Now, watch this. Did this not happen to us? Now, get, go back to Jeremiah 5033. What's your name, brother? Terry. Terry? Watch. Ted? Tay Ren. <laughs> My bad, buddy. Did this not happen to, to us, Tay Ren? You got uh, uh, auction blocks, slave ships. That happened to us, right? Now, I want y'all to put these together real quick. Hold it up. Now, I, I want y'all to examine these two. What's the difference between these two posters? What's the difference? Huh? The what? The skin color? No. Because we all look the same. You got dark Native Americans, you got light Native Americans. <laughs> the only thing different is the year. Right. So what's the difference? The atrocities that happen is the same thing. So what, so what does that make us? If we all went through the same thing, nope, watch this. We're we going to read it again. Now, the brother read it earlier. We're going to read it again. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 33. That says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. The children of Israel will be the so-called Hispanics and Native Indians. The children of Israel, read. And the children of Judah. The children of Judah will be the so-called African Americans, Haitians, and Jamaicans, which is on this side. Read. We're oppressed together. Now, hold, put this side down and hold the 12 tribes chart up. Go ahead, put it down. God says the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. We were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. God says, y'all are the same exact people. Y'all went through the same exact atrocities, and you still going through the same exact atrocities today. Right. We the same people. So the hell with an identification card, that just lets them know that you still a slave. Because we still slaves in America. How can, give me limitations five. How can illegal aliens, uh, what's the word, um, evict people that was originally here? How does that happen? Who, did, who are the illegal aliens today, Glenn? Huh? Absolutely. Because who was here first? <laughs> but watch what God says about that. Read that Lamentations 5 and 1. Lamentations of the 5 and verse 2. Watch this, brother. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. God says what belongs to us is now given to strangers. That's why what they did to Native Americans, the reservations, they took thousands and thousands. Do you know Florida? Florida was one of the biggest uh, uh, land masses for Native American Indians. They pushed the Seminoles, they pushed them down south to the Everglades, where don't nobody want to live. They pushed the Cherokees outside to the, to the Carolinas. We did it again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. God says what belonged to my children, the Native American Indians, the Hispanics, the Blacks, now belong to strangers. All right. Read. Our houses to aliens. To who? To aliens. What did God call the people that stole our houses, bro? What did God just call them? Did God call them aliens? So who are the original illegal aliens? It ain't the Mexicans. Right. <laughs> it ain't the Native Americans. Right. It ain't the brothers and sisters from Honduras. Right. 
It's the white man. That's right. The white man is the original illegal alien. Bring it out. Go ahead. All right, this is the history of Fort Myers. Spain originally had a colonial influence in Florida, succeeded by Great Britain and lasted by United States. During the American Indian Wars of the 1830s, the United States built Fort Myers as one of the first forts along the Caloosahatchee River. It was used as a base of operation against the Seminoles. God called him. Nope. Reuben. That's right. God calls him Reuben. You got Reuben and you got Gad. You got the so-called Hispanics. But but this is my question, right? Because we are the same people. Y'all two are the same people. I don't know where you're from, brother. Where you say you're from? Okay. Well, you listen. If you spirit bear witness, brother, all praises. But God says that the blacks and the Hispanics and the Indians. We are the same exact people. Now, about you, do you see the way that as being the same as you? <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Not every human ain't your brother. Huh? Dwayne, what about you? Do you think every human is your brother? Okay, look, so you tell me the same people that committed those atrocities are my brothers? Oh, well, well, so, so then we got a contradiction there. You see what I'm saying? Then we got a contradiction. If they not my brothers, then that means all human beings are not my brothers. Let's see who God says your brother is. Give me that Leviticus chapter 19. Let's see who God says your brothers are. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 7. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So this is a law. This law alone will stop black on black crime. Bring it up. This law alone will stop suicides, will stop drug dealing. God says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Then the next sense, he calls your brother your who? Your neighbor. Now let's see who he calls your neighbor. Watch this. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. It was from brother to neighbor to the children of your people. Right. Who are the children of your people? Huh? I'm asking you. Who are the children of your people? The Israelites. Yes. The blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. Right. Your brothers are the Israelites. Yes. Everybody is not your brother. Watch this. If everybody's your brother, that means that y'all are on the same level as everybody else. Do y'all think y'all are above, below, or equal? I'm going to ask you, bro. What's your name again? Ted Reed? Ted Reed. Ted Reed. Sorry, brother. You are right. Ted Reed, my bad. <laughs> I'm Gad. My, my name is Gad. Gad. <laughs> so, Ted Reed, do you think you are above Gad? G-A-D. Do you think you're above, below, or equal to everybody else? I'm equal. You're equal. What about you, Dwayne? What you think? You're equal. Come on. Watch this. Give me. Nope. Give me. Um, yeah, give me Dwayne. Oh, seven and six. Yeah. Dwayne, seven and six. Watch this. Now, now we're going to read what the Bible says. Because we all out here believe in the Bible, right? We all believe that the Bible is the words of God ordained by God. Do we believe that? Dwayne? Dwayne, you believe that? That the words of the Bible is the words of God? Okay. Tay, you believe that? Okay, watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above. A what? Above. All people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, is above. If you're above somebody, are you equal to them? Huh? Tell you, if you are above somebody, are you equal to them? Dwayne, if you're above somebody, are you equal to them? God, what, what did God just say? God says we are above everybody. So if we are above everybody, then what does that make us? 
makes us better than everybody. And when, we're be when we know that we're better than everybody, Dwayne, now that we know better, we got to do better. You understand? Because salvation is only for the Israelites. Y'all know that? You believe everybody going to make it to heaven? Isaiah 46 and 13. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you real quick. Hey, Tay, you believe everybody going to make it to heaven? You believe that salvation is for everybody? Let me see what Isaiah 46 and 13 say. Watch this. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 13. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. My salvation. God says his salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. For Israel my glory. God says he's going to place salvation in Zion. In Israel. Who's Israel? The blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. So what are we saying? Hosea 1 and 10. Now we got to come together and fight. Is he, uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 12. We, hold on, hold on. Two, two more scriptures, Dwayne. We got to come together, bro. You ain't just passed by for no reason. Ain't no coincidence why this is the first day in Florida and you hear this, bro. Ain't right. no coincidence, bro. You too, Jay, so... Ain't no coincidence y'all hearing this today. Now it's time to come together. We got to come together and keep the laws of God as Israelites. Not as Native Americans. Not, Af not as African Americans. Not as Haitians. Not as Jamaicans. We got to come together as Israelites. This is why. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord. God says a threefold cord. When you tie those three strings together, it's not quickly broken. God says when we come together, there's no way anybody can break us. When we come together, we can stand against anything. But we must be keeping the laws of God. Do you know what today is, Dwayne? Huh? 420? No. You smoke weed? You, okay, all praise. I'm glad you quit. Today's the Sabbath day. You ever heard about the Sabbath day? Huh? You thought it was Sunday, right? Now, hey, Tay, Tay, when is the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day? Sabbath day. When is that day? Sabbath day is today. Right now, we in the, we own the Sabbath day. And we're going to prove it real quick. Real quick. Because these are the laws of God. This is the only way that, that you're going to be protected. Give me the hold that. Give me that in Isaiah. Where it says, uh, uh, he shall keep them in perfect peace. This is the only way that you're going to be protected in this lifetime. This is the only way. Getting the God ain't going to protect you. Y'all hear that? Making money ain't going to protect you. You could be the baddest man in the world. Hell, you could be the president of the United States. The only thing that's going to protect you is keeping God's law. Right. Read that. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. That will keep him in perfect peace. I'm going to tell you right now, Dwayne, you left South Dakota to come to Florida. And I'm going to tell you, Florida ain't no better than South Dakota. Right. You went from a trap into another trap. So now that you know it's a trap, you need help. And the only help that you're going to get is from keeping God's laws, bro. That's the only salvation that you have. That's the only way you're going to preserve your life. I don't care. I don't need to go to know that it's a hellhole. Just like Florida is a hellhole, the reservation's a hellhole, the ghettos are hellholes. Read. That will keep him in perfect. You live from slavery to more slavery here in Florida. You cannot escape these curses. You can leave the reservation and come to Florida, you still gonna be cursed. You can leave Florida and go to Georgia, you still gonna be cursed. Wherever you go, you are going to be cursed. Keep God's laws or die. That's the only way.
so hard to serve God. You why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art? For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's sound man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.